What gives someone a self-esteem is not a specific set of rules. You can't declare that if you do this and this and this and this, you'll have a good self-esteem. For the most part, someone's self-esteem and self-confidence and self-worth depends on if they have found what makes them happy. What makes me happy may not be what makes you happy. In fact, it probably won't be what makes you happy. People have to find their own happiness. If you're going around trying to declare that these absolute things are what gives someone happiness, are what gives someone a self-esteem, and if they don't do those things, they'll be unhappy and they'll have a crappy self-esteem, you're being no better than a fundamentalist Christian. As long as what someone is doing to make them happy, to make themselves happy, doesn't hurt anybody else, and they're aware of the risks involved in doing the things that make them happy, and they've made it abundantly clear that they are aware of these risks, and they are showing that they are taking the steps to make sure that they are reducing those risks as much as possible, then for you to cram down their throats the risks over and over and over again is just like a fundamentalist Christian giving someone a guilt trip for not believing in God. What makes you happy may not be what makes other people happy. Remember this, and don't cram stuff down people's throats. Now, if you can see that what someone is doing is not making them happy, that might be a slightly different thing. I mean, if it's pretty blunt and obvious that it gives them no happiness at all, talk to them about that. But don't try to declare that something shouldn't make someone happy if you can see that it is making someone happy. Thanks.